Hello guys, my name's Jonathan and welcome to the One Motome channel. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Today we're going to be looking out at different layouts, different designs and also different bed types. So a lot of people don't know when they're looking for motomes that one of the main things that we look for is whether it's got an island bed, single beds, bunk beds, transverse beds, uh, drop down electric beds. There's so many different layouts and versions of beds that people often get a little bit confused. Now, people often ask me, what is the best layout? What's the best bed to have? Is it better to make up a bed or is it better to have a fixed bed in the back? Um, all these questions will hopefully be answered for you today. Um, so we're gonna have a good look round. Um, I'm at Choose Leisure in Canterbury where they've got over a hundred vans in stock. So hopefully I'll be able to show you all the different layouts and we can go round and have a good look and check out what's best for you. So the first van I'm going to start off with today is actually a van conversion made by Autosleeper. This one's a Kemerton XL. It's around 6.3, 6.4 metres in length. Uh, it's a two berth and this one has got two single beds or a double. So I'm going to show you a quick way of making this bed and what the benefits of this bed are. So one of the great things about this layout is you can sit on this seat with the sliding door open just checking out the view and watching the day go by. Also, you've got this sofa seat, so a bench seat, again, looking out of the motorhome. And you've got plenty of space in here. I mean, this vehicle is only around 6.364, me uh, 6.4 meters, yet you've got lots and lots of space. Now, the way that this bed makes up is, you push a little button down here, that slides across, you push that in, and there we go. That's one single bed. Also at the back, this is also a single bed. So the joy of this one is actually that you can get up of an evening, stand up, walk along the middle, backwards and forwards. You're not jumping over each other to get out of bed. And also if you're in a really hot location as well, you're not too close to one another. Uh, so you're gonna say, stay nice and cool of an evening. If you want it in a double bed, you can do that as well. So there's a little bit here that you pull out this slides across, that goes to there, and then this is a huge double bed. Um, there's also an infill cushion go that goes down the back there as well, but again, really comfortable bed. So this one, either two single beds or a big double. The next vehicle I'm going to show you is made by Catargo, which is one of my favorite brands. This one is a Catargo C Compact Line 143 LE. They call it compact line because it's very narrow. You can zip around the country lanes and all that sort of stuff. In the back of this vehicle, we've got two single beds and in the front, we've got a double. Now we've also got a huge garage over the single bed. So if you're looking for a lot of storage, you're gonna be going on long trips or you're gonna be putting barbecues, blow up tents, canoes, all that sort of stuff in the back, then this van is ideal for you. Uh, but let's check out the beds. So walking into the habitation, obviously we've got a nice diner area here with forward facing seat belts. So this can sleep for and travel for. Lovely little lounge area. But as we go round to the back, check this out. So this is a huge area, which can be a double bed or two single beds. Of course, you can leave that made up all the time. Um, if you want it to be single, so you remove this cushion and they've got a clever little ladder actually so when it's single when it's a double bed you can go up the ladder and get into bed but if you want it as singles you lift this ladder up push it into here so it folds away nicely then this part slides back and then that goes up like that and then we've got steps leading up to two singles so again if it's hot you can lay either side you're not going to get too hot uh, with the singles and of course you don't have to jump over each other to get out of bed so that is one of the reasons people would go for this layout and of course underneath all of this we've got a huge amount of storage space uh, for keeping all your belongings so this is at the front of the motorhome so we've got two seats that both swivel around they call them captain seats and these make really good use of this space so you've got lots of space for people to sit around enjoying dinner and things like that obviously this table moves around so you can all have a nice chat game of cards a uh, bit of food however uh, because this is an a-class vehicle and it's got the flat screen at the front 
then you have got the option of a drop down manual bed which is what this one has now this is a manual drop down double bed um, there's a little catch up here where you turn it and that will drop down uh, but the way you do that is you fold these two chairs forwards so that forwards goes forward like that this one comes forward here then you turn this little catch drop that down and look at that we've got a huge double bed over the cab massive actually um, so this is really comfortable really convenient you can leave your quilt and your sheets and things like that so even if you're not taking people all the time you're always going to have a nice spare bed at the front and it's not taking too much space up in the vehicle as well um, so this Katago 143 LE compact line has got two singles or a double in the back plenty of garage space and a big double bed in the front also it's very compact so it's easy for getting around the country lanes and things like that so there are lots of reasons why people would go for this layout so the next one i'm going to show you is this auto trail tribute f60 now a lovely little van built on a ford transit chassis it's called a coach built because it's a van at the front with a coach built on the back now this is a four berth so it's got four uh, beds or a place for four people to sleep it's got a little bit of storage at the back um, but it's very spacious it's around six meters in length so if you're wanting to zip around the countryside and go down all those country lanes and perhaps even fit into a car parking space that's the reason people would go for a vehicle like this but let's have a look at the layout inside and i'll show you how the beds work in this one so as you go through the habitation door of this little beauty let's take a look inside so two opposing bench seats now these can be converted into a double so that one slides across that one slides across and the backs they go into place so that whole area there turns into a double bed also with this one up on top here if you can see that there uh, that is an electric drop down double bed now again you can leave that made up all the time so you can have your quilt your pillows and all that sort of stuff on board and you don't have to make it up constantly um, but it's electric so it just comes down nice little layout with this one you've got a wardrobe in here electric flush toilet separate shower and remember this is only around six meters in length as well just to show you how this electric bed works so you press a little button hold that down and down it comes look at that so you can leave that made up all the time um, you can actually lower this bed all the way down if you move these cushions out the way here that bed will come right down but if you don't want it all the way down you have got a little ladder uh, which will give you access to the bed as well so if you want double bunk bed so a double bed under here and a double bed on top you can have the little ladder going up there um, to gain access to that bed um, with these electric beds they're very handy so you can leave it made up all the time just press a button and tuck it all away in the morning um, and it makes a good use of the space so with a little van like this um, you've got a really nice living area let's see if i can show you that so really nice living area lots of floor space and you've got two double beds all right guys i hope this is helping you out a little bit because obviously there are so many different layouts and designs um, this vehicle that we're going to look at now is a Bailey Adamo 754i. So 75 meaning 7.5 meters, four meaning four berth and four traveling seats, and I with an island bed. Now, one of the reasons people go for these island beds is because you can walk all the way around them, hence the name island. <laughs> um, they're conveniently located right at the back of the vehicle, and it's a very nice size bed actually. And like I say, if you need the loo in, of an evening, you know, you need to go for a tinkle after 12, um, then you can just get out either side, nip to the loo, get back in bed and you've not disturbed your partner. Um, also with this one, you have got an island bed, but it is slightly raised. So if you notice at the back of the vehicle, just here, we've also got a very nice sized garage. So when you've got a raised bed, normally, it means that you've got a garage or some sort of storage underneath which this one has and you could quite easily fit bikes in there barbecues or anything you might be taking with you um, but let's go inside this one and have a proper look at the layout and i'll show you how the beds work in this one 
So as you go through the habitation door, first of all, let's take a right. So obviously we've got your kitchen on the left here. This is a door here which can be closed off so you can keep that bedroom private. And also at the other side, we've also got a door that slides across here. And what this means is you've got a toilet and shower in the center of the vehicle. So if someone goes to the toilet from this bedroom, then they're not gonna disturb somebody in the bedroom in the front and vice versa. As I mentioned, this one is called an island bed. It's all wrapped up at the moment because it's brand new, um, but you can walk around both sides and gain access to it. At the moment, it's in the upright position. So what that means is it basically pushes back. So the backrest sits up. So if you want to sit up in the morning and have a nice cup of coffee and basically you've got all the place to do that, actually. You've even got little LED lights here so you can read your book and things. Then you can quite comfortably do that with this bed pushed up. But in the night time, you'd pull this bed towards you to make it nice and flat. And that's what they call an island bed. At the front of this motorhome, let me first talk about this. Now, this is actually a pop up seat with a traveling seat belt. And you do have the same on the other side. So if you remove these cushions, you've got a little chair that pops up with an extra belt. Now, the reason somebody would go for this is because when the seats are down, it means that you're not taking up space in this living area. So you can have two opposing bench seats. Uh, so two little sofas either side and a really nice area uh, for socializing and things. This table folds over like this. So you can make that table bigger. And also that's an electric table, which you can make go up and down. Now, what you can do is you can actually lower that bed all the way down into position down here and then there's some cushions, some infill cushions that turn this whole area into a double bed. So even if you're not taking people with you all the time, but you want the facility to have extra seat belts and an extra bed, then this is really a perfect layout. Also in the front, both of these seats swivel around, but this one's facing forwards at the moment because somebody's obviously been sat there uh, pretending to drive. Um, but this is just another layout. So island bed, two opposing bench seats that turn into a double with two forward facing seats with extra traveling seat belts. Let's move on. So the big question is, what's the right layout for you? Do I have the singles? Do I have a double? Do I make my beds up? What do I do? It's so confusing. I know, I understand, I appreciate that. Luckily, there are dealerships like this one where I am today at Choose Leisure, where they've got lots and lots of stock. For example, these guys have got around 100 vehicles for you to choose from. My best advice for you guys when you're looking for a motorhome is treat it like looking for a house. You go inside and you, just, you have that feeling, don't you? You think, am I comfortable with this? Is this where I want to be? Is this in the right place? Is the cooker in the right place? Are the beds in the right place? But the, the, the decision is basically down to you. It's the individual. There's no point asking somebody What's the best layout? The reason is, is because the best layout is the one that's best for you. Um, and that's very tricky sometimes. But what I would say, or my best advice would be, is go with your heart. You know when it's right. You go inside and you think, do you know what? This feels right. This is the one. And do you know what? If in two years time you've made a mistake or you feel like you want a different layout, then just trade it in. Go for the layout that you want at that particular time. It could be at first you want a really big motorhome that you can travel around in and stay in for long, long periods of time. Or it could be you want a really tiny little one that you can use every day and you can zip around and you can have it for weekends away or days down the beach and things like that. Going back to the layouts, there are lots of different layouts like we're talking about, bunk beds, island beds, double beds. My personal opinion is the best bed or the best layout is the one that your heart is telling you is the best one. My name's Jonathan, this is the One Motorhome channel, and hopefully guys, I'm helping you out in some way. If I am, give me a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below what the layout you've got, what layout works best for you, why it works best for you. It might help someone else as they're, as they're looking for motorhomes. I know a lot of people who watch my channel have already got motorhomes, and they like to look at others. You know, they're always looking around. It's like when you buy a car, you think this is the last car I'm ever gonna buy. And then three years down the line, you're trading it in for something else because it's got a minor little tweak that you really want at that particular time. 
Take care, guys. I'll be putting a, new, a normal demonstration on for you soon with some normal sort of um, walk around tours and things like that. But I thought I'd do something a little bit different for you today and show you some of the different layouts and the different beds. Hope it helps, guys. Take care. Bye bye.